Hey guys, it's me, Sonia. I'm here with Gunner. Hello. And uh, as some of you may know, Gunner had a head injury. Slow down, I'm out of breath already. Gunner had a head injury uh, in 2022. He clonked his head on the wall. And um, we're starting to think that that has something to do with why he's been having such a hard time for the last two years. Basically, school was like a disaster. He's had a lot of really bad now. difficulty with his mood. Yeah, even now after high school. Yeah, like um, he's just struggling. Trying to get my credits and I can't do it. He, he can't make it to school to get, anyway, to the adult ed thing. His, like he just, it's just not happening, right? Um, well, I finally, because I had a concussion in December, I finally realized I think this might be related to when he hit his head and maybe he just feels really bad like I was or I have been feeling bad. So I took him to the osteopath last week and um, that helped a bit, I think. Like mood wise, Gunnar? Yeah, this is possible. Uh, well, so today we're going to the chiropractor, next step in his rehabilitation. And we're also uh, going to get connected with a, um, a physio clinic that treats head injuries. So we're going to do all these things. But in the meantime, he needs to have surgery on his knee also. That's on the 28th. Yeah, that's okay. coming up. So for now, we're not going to get into the physio. But I'm going to take him to the chiropractor today and, uh, you know, see if there's something that he can do. I thought I would take you guys along. Let's see what happens. Well, not too long. Taking him in here to see Dr. Nguyen, who has a very good reputation. So here's how it went. It's a very nice office located right downtown. And after we filled out some paperwork, we were brought into the treatment room. And then the nurse came in, took Gunner's vitals and his measurements, this kind of thing. And then the doctor came in, had a little talk with Gunner. And afterwards he examined him visually and it was amazing how he could detect all kinds of things being misaligned just by looking at Gunner standing. He could see that the shoulders were asymmetrical uh, from his posture. They, he could see that his spine was starting to curve. He could even see the damage in Gunner's foot, the one that had been broken and then later stepped on by someone. So he was noticing all these little things that our regular doctor wouldn't notice or would just brush off. Then he did okay. some more detailed exams Open. and he noticed that Gunner's jaw kind of jaw slides in and out of alignment, kind of goes sideways when, like when he's opening and closing his mouth. Oh, really? Now Gunner's been complaining about his jaw for months. I've taken him to the dentist oh, yeah, a few times and their solution was to just pull out his wisdom teeth. You know, it didn't sit right with me. Um, the wisdom teeth, according to the x-rays, seem to be actually coming out and not being impacted. And it, it, something just didn't sit right with me about the solution is just to pull out the teeth. Uh, I, I'm really glad that the chiropractor had a look at this because it seems like these problems are all tracing back to various kinds of misalignments, which after the x-rays, we noticed that Gunner's neck is misaligned and this might be partly caused by that concussion. So it could be that with the impact, it threw out the alignment in the neck and this is then like having repercussions in his jaw and other things, um, making him feel bad, which then causes him to not want to do anything, to sit on the couch too much and to spend too much time on screens and the phone with his neck in this position, which is an aggravating whatever's already wrong with his neck. And this is what the doctor was saying, that it tends to become a vicious cycle. You have some kind of injury, it throws you off, makes you feel crappy, then you become less active. You spend more time sitting, more, more time on the screens. This is exactly what Gunner's doing. And that leads to the problem getting worse. So it could be that whatever it ha was that happened with his head and his neck at the time, this gave him symptoms, made it hard for him to focus at school and just was generally discouraging him and making him feel bad and then caused him to withdraw. And now the problem just keeps compounding. So this was a really good visit, very interesting and very enlightening. And we didn't do any treatment today, but uh, we're looking forward to starting next week. And I'm hoping that this is going to help. I mean, clearly <laughs> our regular doctor, uh, we weren't getting anywhere uh, on that end. And as for the emotional slash behavioral symptoms that came out of this, such as a lot of irritability and difficulty focusing and, and rages. 
uh, we were sent to psychiatry and her solution was Prozac. And she actually told us she was going to discontinue the clonidine, start the Prozac, and that if we didn't do that, she wouldn't see him and no therapy. And that was it. End of story. It was like Prozac or go home. So we said, okay, we're going home. Neither one of us was ready for Prozac. I'll tell you. And, and then her solution for sleep was uh, another SSRI, which was Remeron, which is known to have a side effect of suppressing the immune system. So I thought, well, that doesn't make sense. He's about to have surgery because he's going to have surgery for his knee in like less than two weeks. So I thought, I don't think we want to suppress his immune system right now. Maybe, maybe we'll wait. We'll put that one off, you know, very disappointed with the psych appointment. And today I feel very encouraged and that's it. I just want to let you know how it went and I'll let you know how it goes down the road. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.